Yo, what's going on guys? Jet XC and we got a honestly a solid update on going right now. The new patch for Freesia Sands of Secrets. Overall, I just got done streaming. Uh, I streamed for about an hour, so if you want, you could definitely go check it out. Pulls went pretty great. And I also got uh, Freesia's weapon. Overall, though, this update has been pretty solid. So I kind of quickly just want to go over everything here in this update. Uh, I want to go over Freesia real quick and how to play her. And then I also want to kind of show off the costumes as well. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. So first off, Enya is the battle pass. You can buy these two costumes. I highly recommend getting all of them, especially since they gave us a full refund. Uh, so we'll show them all off here in a second. But uh, yeah, let's check it out. We're going to go over everything here. So, here is Cyrus's outfit. I'm telling you guys, you definitely need to get all of these outfits. Pretty good. And then let's go with Enya. So, this is the workout outfit that was showed in First Annie. A lot of people were asking for this outfit, and it looks like we got it. So, that's pretty exciting. Overall, I really like this skin as well, so. Here is Freesha's outfit. And again, uh, this is the uncensored version, guys. Forgot to mention that. So if you change your localization to one, you won't have to worry about anything and you'll get the uncensored outfits, essentially. Alright, so for Freesha, it's actually pretty simple. When you run, you charge up that gauge there. You hit E, and you're able to shoot out three energized shots right there essentially you can also tap it again to run faster your ult so your ult is going to do aoe damage for you so you'll run you see my ult there aoe aoe you can always switch it up hit three times also when you're running you can reload so hit reload and see right there we're good to go AoE. So you can use your ult multiple times while you're running. So whatever situation you're in, you can use whatever you want. Pretty much. Really simple gameplay. And that's about it. So yeah, it's definitely, I highly, highly suggest getting all the costumes. Um, they're super good. Okay, guys, so overall, let's talk about Freesha real quick. So, I think she's super fun to play. Um, I'm going to have to do a rain check on her damage just because I can't really do too much. I do have her 5-star weapon. I did roll for that, like I said. I also have some of her logistics here, but I need to level up those logistics. I've got some neuronics. Some of this are helping out with me pretty uh well i've got bounding sun recovers 15 stamina for each shot uh in super shot stance i've got heart cinder increase maximum duration of movement bounding sun when equipped with a chaos weapon standard skill doesn't consume s energy and it's decreased by one second and then recover 30 stamina after using an ultimate skill so i've got some stuff on here i will say i really my initial thoughts is how she'll compare to other people the way you have to play her is you constantly have to be moving around in order to get your energized shots. So it's just going to be a comparison to how much DPS someone is doing while they're just sitting there shooting at an enemy. While Freesha moves around, charges up, and does her shot. Right? I think it's going to be very comparable. So we'll just have to wait and see with more testing. But I will say, and I said this. She's really fun, guys. I think she's comparable to life in terms of fun. Um, her mobility is completely different than all the other units. And it makes... it makes You you pretty much dodge a lot of stuff, too. Now, you are going to run into some things, uh, funny enough. But, um, yeah, she's fun overall. So, if you're looking for a fun unit, I highly recommend her. Um, also, too, here are the skins. Uh, if we're just looking at the operative mode here. This, this Enya skin is so good, guys. 
And then last but not least, here is Cyrus. I highly, highly recommend, again, using your refundable um, bit gold and getting all three of these skins. I think you guys will enjoy them a lot. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Last thing I did want to mention is the interactive for Marion. I've been told that the interactive scenes for Marion are pretty crazy to the point where Apparently, I can't even stream it on YouTube. I'm going to take a look at it later. Um, but for those of you that are questioning whether you should get it, I think it'll definitely be worth it for you. So I will see if I can have a video up for it, though. Maybe I'll put a black bar up. I don't know. But yeah, guys, overall, solid patch. Definitely check out Sands of Secrets. There's a new game mode, Spectral Fantasies. I'm going to kind of let you guys... Um, figure out how to play this one i will say though it's different from all the other game modes it's kind of like a you go through every stage and then after every stage you get like this buff or power up and you have to make sure it kind of helps you in whatever you may need do you need health do you need attack right and the fun little thing about this is you get a backpack and in this backpack this is where you put your items that you get as you go along the way and you got to make sure it fits within this uh square and you can also do different things to get more space in your backpack so and music's good too so yeah definitely check that out guys um let me know what your thoughts on this game mode is um i think it's i think it's okay so far but yeah overall great patch let me know what you guys think in the comments it is 3 a.m for me so i gotta get out of here actually no 4 a.m so later guys